All right, uh, welcome back. I'm joined by Nick Hederick, uh, sort of the Mel Kuyper Jr., our football wow. analyst. Wow, uh, I don't know how I feel about that one, John. But uh, I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> uh, yesterday was National Signing Day for the Colonials, and they signed 16 new uh, players to come in for the spring. So who do you think are going to be some of the key names? All right, well, uh, 16 players in total, seven yesterday. That's Merle Commits. Um, the biggest name, I believe, is Montavis Brini here. Um, he played at IMG Academy down in Florida. He actually played my high school a couple years ago. Fun fact. Wow. Little tidbit there. Um, that's the number three team in the nation. He's a tight end, big guy. He's going to be a big target for quarterbacks in the future. Um, fun fact, though, he also had offers from Louisville, Illinois, Tulane, Florida Atlantic. This is a big signing for our wow. He's going to do really big things for this program, I think. So by far, I think Brini is the biggest guy on this list. Because some of those teams are big names. I mean, those are very big Power 5 teams, a few of them. That's a big, big gain for Robert Morris. And then defense is an area that we had a bit of a struggle. I see that yeah. circled some guys here that were hopefully showing up. Yeah, well, I circled two defensive linemen. Arsenal's rushing defense more than the many last year. Their defense as a whole just towards the bottom in pretty much every category. One of the worst in all of Division One football. Um, Big one here is Zach Gilbert. Zach Gilbert, uh, defensive lineman, 6'1", 255 pounds. Um, he's the number 29 prospect out of North Carolina from ESPN. Wow. Um, his father actually played at Pitt. And so, I mean, there's some homegrown, I'm not homegrown, but you know what yeah. I mean, in the area, some familiarity there. Um, he played for Arizona Western, a junior college last year. He had four tackles. Um, looking at his high school career, though, he was a four-year starter, had 40 and a half sacks throughout his four years. Wow, and that's I'm no math major, but that's roughly around 10 a season. Um, that's a big, big grab right there for Robert Morris. The other defensive uh, tackle, Colton Richards, committed. Um, Gilbert, really quick, signed back in December. Yesterday, National Signing Day, Colton Richards signed. He's 6'2", 270. He played in two state title games. One of them, he had 12 tackles. That's a pretty you know, mar pr pretty big number there, and especially in a state title game. He also played some offensive line. And that guess how much that team ran for? Uh, I'm going to say quite a lot. Over 4,000 yards, oh. two times. Jeez, so he, that's, so that's he's going to be on the defense now, and I'll be trying to stop the run. But overall, very experienced in the trenches on each side. Big, big grab for Robert Morris there as well. And then a uh, couple more offensive guys. I see you have uh, Jonathan Nguyen and uh, DeMonte Martin. Want right. to just run me through those? All guys? right. Six well, uh, Jonathan Wynn, um, pretty speedy guy, um, almost 1,000 yards rushing last year, 989. Um, if you're not impressed with that, if you say, well, he's not a 1,000-yard rusher in high school, what's he going to do here? Um, he averaged 8.3 yards a carry. So, uh, you know, he's almost running for a first down every time he gets the ball. Also, Terrence Stevens, Elijah Jackson, two guys who have multiple 100-yard-plus games last season. He, Jonathan Wynn is going to be able to grow and learn from these two guys. That's a very dangerous backfield they have on this Colonial team. And I am very excited to see what Wynn does in a couple years' time. I don't think next year he'll shine right away, but I think sophomore year, junior year, he'll be getting lots of chances. Then a wide receiver, DeMonte Martin, um, he was an all-state selection. Then he had over 1,000 receiving yards. I mean, you think high school football games. That's that, not, not many there's ten, backs that can pass. Ten, I mean, Martin, wide receiver, over 1,000 receiving yards. I mean, 10 games plus three, four playoff games. That's a pretty marginal number there. 21 touchdowns make it even more impressive. That is a good, good commit there for Robert Morris, making that wide receiver core even stronger. Um, he led his league in touchdowns as well, and he also led them, or his team rather, in set records in receiving touchdowns as well. And then uh, one person I just want to mention is uh, Gino Pellegrini here as a quarterback. Uh, our producer, Luke Yost, actually uh, pranked his team to play against him. So yeah, um, we only have, or the Colonials only have one quarterback on the roster right now in George Martin. Do you think Pellegrini can uh, well, commit for... Well, about Luke Yost, I think he's a much better producer than he is, um, you know, a defensive coordinator, well, um, especially a guy like Gino Pellegrini. But uh, listen to these numbers. 48.5 point average. Wow. 48.5 point average for that offense last year led by him. That's impressive. 31 touchdowns. Oh, the numbers don't lie. No, numbers don't. don't lie. This is a big gain uh, for Robert Morris. Do I think he'll play next year? Maybe. We'll have to wait and see what happens. Overall, though, a lot of good grabs for Robert Morris, and I'm very excited to see where this program heads in the future.